Yo what's up guys it's Apex here in today's video we'll be testing out WinLater Glipsy version on a low end android device so this right here is the IQ Z6 Lite it comes with 6GB of RAM and Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 processor so it will be very interesting to see how well does WinLater Glipsy version perform on low end android devices but that's not it guys recently WinLater turnip drivers are also released so if you guys have been following the emulation scenario you guys know that after using custom turnip drivers the performance of these emulators increased by a lot and that's where WinLater Turnip Driver comes in. So for today's testing, we'll be also using the WinLater Turnip Driver version 24.3.0 and it works even on the Glipsy version of WinLater. You'll be able to see that it greatly improves performance especially on low-end Android devices, fixes black screen issues and also fixes black models on Dragon Ball Kakarot, fixes black texture in GTA 5 and lot more. With that being said, let's start off by setting up WinLater Glipsy on our Android devices. Afterwards, I'll show you guys how to add the Turnip Drivers as well. But but before getting started we are very close to reaching 85,000 subscribers on our channel so if you could hit that like button subscribe and turn on all notification it would mean the world to me because we are very close to reaching 100k subscribers i want to be the biggest emulation channel in my country so only you guys can make it possible with that being said there we go will later glipsy has successfully been set up now in terms of box 64 version make sure to always use the latest version for all types of games and make sure to set the preset to performance once that has been done we'll simply tap on the duplicate option and edit the performance preset that we just duplicated set the safe flex level to zero and then tap on the ok button afterwards tap on the stick mark button and now we have applied best performance for win later glipsy once that has been done we'll create our new container screen size will set it to 800 by 600 in terms of dx wrapper make sure to set it to 2.3.1 which is by default and if you guys have a virgil device or a mali gpu android device go with the virgil graphics driver audio driver will be pulse audio show fps will be enabled and video memory size will set it to 4 gb though it doesn't matter because this device only has about 5.4 gb of available ram and here make sure to choose the performance preset that we just created and untick cpu 0 in processor affinity in terms of startup selection make sure to set it to aggressive and once that has been done our container is created and now we are all set to emulating some windows games on our low end android device so let's just go ahead and tap on the run button and now i'll show you guys how to actually import the custom graphics drivers once our winlater has successfully started the next step is to simply open the directory where you have stored the turnip driver make sure to just copy it afterwards go to the z folder and then go to user afterwards go to the lib folder so we'll just go ahead and double tap it right here and this will only work on winlater glipsy the process for adding graphics driver in normal winlater is a bit different i'll make a dedicated video on that pretty soon but there we go we can simply paste the graphics driver right here and for that just go ahead and tap on the yes button and now we have successfully added the mesa turnip adreno driver to greatly improve performance on low end android devices inside the winlater android now what i like to recommend you guys to do is once after you add the graphics driver just go ahead and reopen your container or restart the emulator so that your graphics driver are properly loaded this time afterwards we'll just go ahead and toggle full screen and now we are all set to start emulating some pc games on low end android devices make sure that in mine configuration uh, the windows version is set to windows 10 and for today's video i have loaded lot of games like grand theft auto 4 gta y50 assassin's creed rogue and amazing spider-man 2 now gta 4 i am most excited about i do believe it should work on my low end android device but let's start with the assassin's creed rogue which i have tested out previously this game i am running it once again because we have just added the graphics driver to see how much the performance will improve that's what i'm most curious about so let's just go ahead and also swipe back and make sure to enable in put controls as virtual gamepad now for some reason it is not showing me an fps bar at the top left corner which i think is a bug so i'll just go ahead and restart my container and once again enable the show fps option and still guys it's not showing me the fps bar which means there might be a bug with this game but as far as i have tested it out in the previous versions of win later it was working properly nonetheless there we go our game is about to start and i'll tell you guys the fps which we are getting from my emulation experience so there we go assassin's creed rogue has successfully started so we'll simply start a new game and then tap on the enter button and here we go guys our game is about to start ubisoft presents and during this cutscene i am hoping that we are getting around 60 fps because the gameplay is super smooth but once it renders the 3d world the fps will drop down well it didn't drop down that much which is very surprising 
I think we are getting around 25 FPS during this cutscene. Uh, it is rendering the entire Assassin's Creed 3D world. And just take a look at this. You can compare it with my other low end win later gameplay test videos. And you will see that in those videos, the game was lagging quite a lot during this scene. Whereas after using the win later glyphsy and adding the custom driver, the gameplay results are super smooth. I only wish that the FPS bar was working. So you could believe the FPS bar instead of just hearing it from me. But trust me guys, it is working pretty well. And there we go. Let me go back to input controls and enable virtual gamepad. And you will be able to see that for some reason, virtual gamepad just doesn't seem to work in my case. So the temporary RTS controls are the only way to go. And here, once the game actually started running, I think I am getting around 25 to 30 FPS because it's a bit laggy. I won't say it's too laggy or unplayable. Still, we are getting good amount of FPS. It is very playable by the way. One of the AAA games of its own time. And the day is finally here where we can emulate this game at 1x graphics resolution with no graphical issues on a low-end Android device. So yeah, let's just go ahead and exit this game and we'll test out our next game which is going to be GTA 4. Yep guys, we are jumping to GTA 4 right away because I want to see how well does it perform on this device and if it does even work or not. And the container just crashed. I think there was some issue. So we'll restart it and try out GTA 4 once again. And for some reason, just take a look at this. Whenever I open the GTA 4 game inside this Android device, it just doesn't open. Now this can be due to the turnip driver that we just added or it can also be an incompatibility issue but I was really sure that it would work on this device. So in my spare time, I'll be giving it a try. I'll be trying it out with the default driver inside win later glyphsis. If it works, then I'll be uploading a gameplay video showcasing GTA 4 gameplay on low end Android devices. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. With that being said, let's try out Amazing Spider-Man 2 on this Android device. We'll be skipping past the GTA Vice City because obviously it will work. It is a very low end game. but. For some reason, even this is not opening. Now, I think there might be a reason to this. For that, I'll just go ahead and exit this game. Afterwards, let's go to system settings. Here, we'll set it to performance and use the newest Box64 version. But in our performance preset that we just created, we'll set the safe flags level to 1. Afterwards, let's tap on the OK button. And still guys, once again, just like GTA 4, whenever I try opening the game, for example, I'm opening it right now. And if we head back to task manager, you will see that the task is just not starting. So our games are not launching. Now this might be an issue of WinLater Glipsy because it was working 100% in the normal versions of WinLater. So guys, this time I have changed some settings. So right here you will be able to see we'll be using the compatibility preset and the older version of Box64. Afterwards, I have just created a brand new container where I have set the DX wrapper as 1.10.3 instead of 2.3.1 and you will be able to see Box64 preset is compatibility startup selection will set it to aggressive. And yeah, that's about it. Let's just go ahead and tap on the tick mark option and run this brand new container. So this will be our final test to see if these games actually boot or not. Because as far as I know, in the previous versions of WinLater, it was working on my low-end Android device. So there we go. I have just launched GTA 4 first and still guys, GTA 4 is not starting. So in few games, there might be compatibility issue inside the WinLater Glipsy version. On low-end devices, it's not really supported that well. So that was the conclusion of our today's video with custom graphics driver will test out other versions of WinLater as well on my low end android device like WinLater Frost or the normal WinLater pretty soon. So yeah, do let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have tried out WinLater Glipsy on your low end android devices. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.